Oh, the feminists. But I would rather stay home and cook and clean. I would rather do it. When I tell you I love to cook and clean, just, just don't tell the feminists. I love to do it, and I love to do it for a man. I do. However, uh -oh. not outside of marriage. Absolutely oh. not. That sounds like hell. But just to see the look on a man's face when you cook him a meal that is so good you can just tell he's proud there's just something i don't know there's something within me as a woman maybe it's almost turning 25 they got me thinking ah, like this cooking and cleaning thing isn't bad like i just don't understand why women wanted to work what, what, what was the what was the point like there is nothing satisfying about working a man that takes care of you a man that provides for you you don't have to worry about anything? No bills? I will cook and clean all day. Like, what is the complaint? I'm making some fire food tonight. I'm going to serve it. And I'm just enjoying it. Yes, I'm crying over some onions. But is this what we fought for as women? I don't know. I'd rather cry over some onions than cry about a job. That's for sure. <laughs> <laughs> well, there you go. What's going on, party people? What is going on? It's your ride chair extraordinaire. Your super duper Uber drivers here, guys. That's right. That's right. Thank you, guys. Thank you. You already know the deal. Before you hop in my ride, do me a quick favor. Hit that like. Hit that subscribe. Poor favor. Muchas graces. <laughs> Come on. Let's do this. Hop on in. Buckle in. And let's go. Yeah! Okay, okay, party people, welcome back. Thank you for hitting that subscribe button. We are almost at a thousand subscribers, and I would like to thank all of y'all. From the bottom of my heart, I really appreciate you guys. Thank you. All right. Now, what are we talking about today, folks? It is almost time for Iowa caucuses. Um, it's coming up very soon and actually it's coming tomorrow. You might get just a little later, but Iowa caucus is coming around the corner and Donald Trump is leading by what? 30 points. <laughs> Golly. The next person in line, the second person is Nikki Haley. Ugh, what a mess. And coming in third is DeSantis. We all see that fat ass Chris Christie done dropped out of the race. Uh -huh. And it is funny because Chris Christie is going to nominate, he's going to give his support to Nikki Haley. But he had a hot mic moment. Chris Christie had said this about Nikki Haley. People don't want to hear it, Wayne. They don't want to hear it. We know we're right, but they don't want to hear it. Right. And, and there's, you know, we couldn't have been any clearer. Right. We couldn't have been any more, any more direct or worked any harder. So, you know. Yeah. Well, when you give land to China and places like that. Yeah, that's what you get. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, look, she spent 68 million so far, just on TV. Spent 68 million so far, 59 million by DeSantis, and we spent 12. I mean, who's punching above their weight and who's getting a return on their investment, you know? And she's going to get smoked. And you and I both know it. She's not up to this. And she's still 20 points behind Trump in the right? Yeah. And, oh, yeah. And he's, gonna, he's still going to carry out. Right? Yes. Oh, he's, I, you know, I talked to De DeSantis called me. Petrified. Yeah, that I would, he's probably getting out of that. <laughs> <laughs> what? In the fuck? So you're telling me, Chris Christie, he's so disingenuous, man. This guy here, man, he is a mess. He's going to give his support to Nikki Haley. But he says she have no chance to win. The only shot was with him, actually. He believed that he could take Donald Trump down. Sir, you're coming in fourth. No. I mean, the little Indian guy, Vissa, Vissa, I can't pronounce his name, but he's leading you. And he's not getting out. He's not dropping out because he got his own money. He's going to write it out. Um. Nikki Haley done spent like 61 mil, and, no, 68 mil, and DeSantis done spent like 58 together, 140 mil, 
just to try to take down Donald Trump. And Trump did not do one debate with these guys. He did not want to do He didn't show up. And he's still leading the polls. Now, the Iowa caucuses is kind of funny because a few years ago, um, I think Marco Ruby, no, uh, Ted, Ted Cruz had won dark, the caucuses and he lost. And a lot of people win the caucuses and it's supposed to be like the, the thermostat to see how good the, the, the candidate, the candidates are going to do. But I think the four, the last three, four, the presidential nominee never won the caucuses, especially for the, the Republican nominee. But we'll see about this one. Again, Donald Trump is leading by double digits. He's winning. He's leading by at least 30 points. And Nikki Haley, who used to work for Donald Trump, who says big things about Donald Trump back in the days, says what a great boss he was until you become in the spotlight. And now you got to talk shit about him your former boss. So you're going to have problems if you become the number two. If if they're supposed to do a debate, you and Donald Trump, man, he's going to eat you up, Nikki. He's going to eat you up. And Chris Christie, and everybody knows that. You know what I'm saying? You are just there just to collect money. You know, all these um presidential uh, candidates, they get a little kickback from their, their super PACs and all that. So <laughs> Nikki Haley, even the big guy, Chris Christie, doesn't believe that you're going to go through. But he's going to endorse you anyway because, you know, he needs to save face. Well, that's all I got for you today. If you got any value of my content, do me a favor. Hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. You see that notification bell? Turn on that notification bell so you get my latest and greatest. Share this content with your best friends. Tell your mama I said hi. All right, all right. Till next time, I'll see you again. Go Iowa caucuses. And all you knuckleheads, get off my lawn.